When we were kids, we called them best friends. Kids today call them BFFs. No matter the name, it's the person who will always have your back in life. But there is a growing movement to ban best friends altogether. Some schools are reportedly banning the phrase best friend to encourage children to broaden their friendship circles to become more inclusive. There are certain schools in particular who have started this trend. Uh, I don't know what to say. Well, well, can't there be a happy medium that I understand what they're trying to do? They don't want you running off into a corner with your BFF at lunchtime and not intermingling with anybody else, that you're sort of isolating yourself and not developing social skills. So they say, this so is they what they're say. saying. But, but here's my argument against that. I feel like this all started with participation trophies where it's like you are so afraid to damage your kid through disappointing them, but actually it's those bumps and bruises that teach people to learn these valuable life lessons that they take with them as adults. I'm very worried about this. Yeah, and, if you, and, and honestly, so many studies out there show it's not your quantity of friends, it's your quality of friends. Yes. I would rather have two really good friends or one really good friend than a hundred false friends. I think this goes against the grain of exactly what I believe in in my life, to have friends you can count on. And there's a difference between social friends, which if you think back to school, most of your friends were social friends. You didn't really have some deep bond with them. You, you left school and you probably, a lot of these kids, you may see at a reunion, but it's your best friends yeah. that stay with you through life. I think getting rid of the term is one of the gravest mistakes you could make. Mm. And, and it completely goes against, to me, what being a kid is all about is figuring out who are the kinds of kids that would be your best friends. And yeah. some kids are more introverted, others are more extroverted. I just... Is, is friendship supposed to be a participation thing now too? Right, then, then I, I absolutely like, agree with you. It's also, you can have multiple best friends. You yeah. can have a best friend in elementary school, a different best friend in junior high. You can have your best friend at church, your best friend at, in baseball. And yes. They, but I think kids, I don't know about you two, but I think there's something about, about that phrase that is actually beneficial. You I know? think so too. Oh, my BFF's got my back. I mean, yeah. at any age, you need that confidence, somebody that you can go to, you're not gonna be judged, you can yeah. talk over what, whatever's bothering you, and, and you know you're not going to be judged, and you're going to have a good time. Yeah, having that inner circle of trust is so huge, especially when you go through a stressor, a problem, you know who your go-to people are. And I'm one of those people who I did have multiple best friends, and they were in different domains, or with various hobbies of my life. And we love that. And we love being able to use that term and it was endearing and it helped us build our bond with one another. What can you do to make sure that your kid or a kid does not feel so isolated because everyone's got a BFF except right. there's this one kid. How do, you, how do we prevent that? Well, there's a couple of good tips. You know, I think one thing that's really important is that some kids, especially the little bit shyer ones, people who are a little bit more introverted, you do need to guide them a little bit more. So I am a huge advocate of setting them up in an after-school club, in some kind of sport, something where they share a hobby they or an like interest. They like they're gonna meet other people that share yeah. the same interest. And then it's easy to talk, right? Because then you have a shared interest around that. And I think the more shy your child is, the more structured you have to make these. So not just like a free-form play date, but hey, let me take you to karate. Let me take you to this club after school. And I also think that it's important to actually demonstrate to your children how to start a conversation, how to talk to people at parties and gatherings. So having sort of that modeling is important and then having them practice those skills in safe circles like extended family members where parents and teachers can actually give them positive reinforcement. Hey, great job sharing that well, toy. And, yeah. and my kids grew up that way. I introduced, hey, John was my best friend in high school mm -hmm. and Alan's my best friend from medical school and, and Jim was my best friend in, in college and resident. So oh, that, that's that so nice that we, you had these generational well, you were, best friends. Well, they didn't all do the same thing, right? Yeah. But, but they were introduced like that as my best friend from that, that era, and I think yeah. they picked up on it and sort of do the same want, thing. And you wanna know as we close this out, a couple weekends ago, remember I, I, I went and met a few of my best oh, yeah. friends right. from college, a couple of them I had not seen in almost a decade. Wow. Oh. And within 30, I mean almost a decade of adulthood, mm. within 30 seconds, here's a group of four 45, 46 year old men 
within 30 seconds as though not so, one second no, in time had yeah, passed. I love that. See, and that's really a cool and that's thing. that's truly best friends. Yeah, and it's so nice you to have it's, that it's, validating quality. And it's none quality. of this drama, oh, why haven't you called or I haven't heard no. from you or any of that. It's like they understand you're busy. And it's not about being popular or this, that. It's just about finding someone that you bond with. Mm -hmm. We're your BFFs right here, buddy. I know. We're your work my, BFFs. You're, you're my, my work BFFs.